so much Hermes talk on here and you hesitate to talk about things like that because obviously it's not relatable and if you can't afford it, can you participate? But I think sometimes the story could be about fashion history and also about investing. So even if you could only buy something that's a few hundred dollars, are you searching for something that could possibly be an investment or a collectible versus just throwing money down the drain? So I do think there's something to be said for that because the right things that you collect and invest in uh, really are assets. So this is what I believe to be the best bag that Hermes has ever made, okay? People say that the Himalayan Birkin, this like uh, crocodile-y, multicolored Hermes bag that sometimes is diamond encrusted is, you know, that's the most coveted and that goes for the most money at these auctions. Um, this is one that's not talked about really at all. It's called Hermes So Black. So if you see all the hardware, even the keys inside, Are black it's like it's almost like titanium color okay and this bag this is the size 30 centimeter it's a size that kind of you could get away with wearing at night or day the one that's bigger is 35 centimeters and that's like really too big for a nighttime but like not big enough to travel in and then there's one that's 25 centimeters that's sort of like a baby bag so this is 30 centimeters it looks bigger in the camera but it's 30 centimeters okay this is box calf. This is a leather that is elite in and of itself, even when this is not so black. Um, it's It gets scratched, but it's sort of part of what it is. You have to be a person that takes care of your things, which I do. The thing about this bag is this so black collection, it was around 2010, 2011, and they stopped making them. So they're extremely rare. And if you bought one uh, in 2010, for just retail price, which is expensive, it, it now is worth up to seven times what you paid. So you bought a million dollar house 12 years ago, it's worth seven million dollars. So this is an asset, this is an investment, this is a collectible. So when you're buying, no matter what it is, if it's a Rolex and you find some vintage $500 or $700 um, stainless one, it could go up in value. So buy things that are special, buy things that you love, but that you don't think are just throwing money down the drain. The fact remains that this bag has outperformed the stock and art market. Story and film at 11.